I'm gonna make a video of uh, Street Fighter. This is a Dynamo H HS9 cabinet. Somebody said it was an HS5, but the HS5 is totally linear plane. It doesn't have this edge, this overlapping piece here. It doesn't have that straight down. So I knew it wasn't an HS5 by telling somebody telling me that. It has the common Dynamo control panel used in many games. I had a Tekken 3 with that control panel. I had a years ago I had a um, Dynamo cabinet that had the big uh, four player panel on it and somebody had modified the bottom to bring it out, to bring the coin doors out. I guess the, maybe the bottom got wet or something. They basically I don't know how they did it. They took the whole bottom area off. Um, I wanted to shorten it back up, so that was a project that never happened. I need to get that. That's my next endeavor. Get that. Um, I might tell you to take the sticker off if it comes off. It's on a oh and an an overlay for another arcade machine. I don't. I'm not happy with that. It did. It didn't have any bulbs in it, so you really couldn't see it what was under it. If I take the bulbs out it probably would uh, probably be happier with it. So then it just looks gray. The way the bulbs make it look red. That's probably what I'll do is take the bulbs out. Um, I painted the sides. I got the stickers. Today I'm uh, making a recording. I got some tea molding in two different colors. Didn't really do anything with that yet. It really is a timely thing that I don't want to take a chance of making a mistake. This is all brand new. All brand new buttons, switches. Fixed up some of the overlay. Cleaned this cover. I could have took this off, but I don't want this to get damaged. So I left it on. Um, I don't need it to be mint. This is a game we're going to be playing a lot. I need to get these. These little cat, these little carriage bolts. Really hard for me to find out which size they are. If somebody knows, please tell me what size I need to order, not length. I need the width. The coin door was really messed up. Put new bulbs in it. Totally stripped it down, painted it. Filled up all those holes for the security bars. I want the sides for, I'm not exactly sure what the sides are for. I have wheels on it, I put wheels on it so I can roll it around. I'm going to do my bottom custom edge connector foot uh, kick guard that I always do. So you don't kick it. Side art on that side. I like the way the side art looks. Came out really nice. Totally brought out the machine. I bought it from this company right here. Came really fast, very well packed. They do a really nice job. Gave me a couple extra stickers, a couple extra papers here, which is nice. Got a sticker on the back, it's a custom sticker they make, it's really nice. I'm getting happy, you know, this machine is coming out, I mean, it's, it's really in bad shape, and slowly but surely it's coming about. Next, my next endeavor also is to buy a new power supply. The power supply is fine, but the fan doesn't work, and I don't want to have this machine on for too long like that. I don't want to burn something out. Unfortunately, the machine, well, it's working really good, so I hate changing something like that, but i got to do it. So this is an HS9, and I looked it up, and it says HS9 or HS9A. I'm trying to find more information on really what it is. Can't find anything written inside of it. There's When you open this up, there's a board there with two clips, and you slide the whole thing out. So it's, that's the custom uh, standard it's a uh, dynamo style. It's really coming about really nice. Thank you for viewing.